It's a little bit further up, sorry. Yo. Yo. Hi. Some heated debates going on. <laughs> oh, but he's. Yeah. He's about as stubborn as Harlow on certain things. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Shouldn't talk about her like she's not here. No, she Try. knows it. She knows it. Convalescence is up. Held ground is up, I'm gonna try to get hate on these guys. Great. I'm dotting. Pressure. Have this. Don't be stacked too much. Yay. No, oh, he totally got that one. Nice. Oh, wow, did it. Oh, one die. Oh, the Josh is dead. Ah! <laughs> oh. That's better. <laughs> Uh, that, that's like much more decisive than most other clears I've heard. Most people clear off yeah. like one person alive. Yep. The cocoon must be shed for the butterfly to be born. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Say, I You guys' first time through that? Yeah. Yep. yep. Nice. A little different from how I've seen it. Uh, most people don't kite the uh, Sturm dolls. Yeah. What do they do? Have the warrior take either. them and just stack them right on it. Oh, we that have way the, power the warrior can do some stack. damage on the boss. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need the paladin's DPS. <laughs> I feel like the paladin will add DPS to that, huh? I think we could have served. Kind of funny. We, we, we basically did it without higher versus DPS. Mm. I know. Like, but it lowers it damage taken, so hopefully like it's offset by the <laughs> Doesn't freedom that really the healers offset much because they still get the same amount of autos in you because they move at normal speed. They they pause though when they do their frontal cleave. Mm. That loss of contact time. Like their auto is like ready to go, but if they're not close enough they won't. Do you think we could clear faster if part of that than DPS? I wouldn't worry about clearing that one fast enough, as long as we clear it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Just wait for Kiwi to explain what's the difference. I watched the video today, and uh, let's see, I want to tank this guy right about where he is, huh? Maybe a little up. Is that the way we want to go? I'm not sure. Kiwi's been in already, so I'm You just don't want to tank him where he is. I'd probably tank him back here, because the new one spawns yeah. where he's at. The new one spawns where he's at, and by the time you move the other one across, mm. you'll have a stack on him. And mm. stacks do not fall off in this fight. Gotcha. Okay, so I'll tank him back here then.
Uh, yeah, where's Kiwi? He's What's myster mysteriously silent. Oh, that's why. Come back. Welcome back. Hey, right, you've been here before, dude. All yours. What's the battle plan? Oh, me? Yeah, you. Oh, what's um, the battle oh. plan? Oh, uh, let's see. I was just DPSing. Um, <laughs> as usual. <laughs> so, so when the you know how uh, in normal A one the he does those um, like uh, orange circles on the on the floor, those AOEs. They leave behind like a poison, and like uh, they they leave behind something now. Um, so you want to place them somewhere strategically. And the best way that we found was to put it right under the boss. So like, um. You know how you bait Mega Flare Swirls in T13? Like, you wait for Mega Flare to cast, and then, like, a second later, you get to the position that you want to bait it at, then you leave. So, for. I, I forgot what the AoE name is. Resin called, Bomb, I think? Yeah. yeah, Resin Bomb. Like, after Resin Bomb finishes casting, um, just get under his. Uh, get under his butt. Like, all the melee get under his butt. And then, um, everyone comes out once the orange circles appear. And, and then, uh... Under the all the, yeah, all melee stack under the boss. The so what do range do? The range just, uh, they just watch out for the AoE a bit. Just poop all <laughs> over the place. Yeah, and, um, usually, like, oh, you know, after the first, okay. um, first two adds come out, uh, after that you have to worry about missiles, right? Like, where there's, like, that laser yeah. line that goes, yeah. So instead of being, instead of two of them, there's now four of them. And each DPS has to take one. Okay. So, um, there was four before. Oh, but the lasers are four now too. Yeah, oh. lasers are four now too. So like, um, so we should assign. I think we should assign DPS as like, um, nice. yeah. There's gonna be two of our DPS on the oppressor and two of our DPS on uh, 0 0.5. Oh yeah, we, me and Rom are usually on 0.5 already. I will be on the left side. And I okay. tend to just grab so the lasers are the far. Alarm. The Vera will take the left uh, add on Oppressor, and you know will take the right add on Oppressor. Mm -hmm. um, on, and on this side. Which side? This side. The oppressor on Oppressor 1.0. Yeah. The Oppressor's right side. So if Cardus is standing where I'm at here, that would be yeah. that He's side. The... You were on the right side. Vera's already on the left side. Yeah, yeah. So the boss is we're always like that. right flank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and then just, I guess, generally the range will grab the farther laser on their yeah. half of the screen, or mm -hmm. stage. Aren't there four lasers? Oh, yeah, so, yeah, so, so, so like, on yeah. your half, the farther laser. Yeah, you might have to communicate a little bit if there's, you know, if it's ambiguous. Okay. Also, um, resin bomb happens like it does in normal, um, A1, during the, like, after the ads come out. So you gotta make sure that the resin bomb doesn't drop. Uh. You, uh, drop on the laser so that so, like, you can't get back in to place okay. the hat. So you, so you bait... bait the resin bombs out. Mm -hmm. And, and then get under the laser. Bomb. Resin bomb is the AO ground AoE, the circle ground AoE that he does. Ooh, it used thing. to leave behind nothing in normal A1, oh. but now it leaves behind a poison pit that like really oh. heavily slows you. It leaves and behind an earth shaker. Really dot. Yeah, basically. It's like a 6k a tick dot. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought, but I, <laughs> I wasn't sure why I got that time it was a little white. It's, it, it was like it's, it's like yeah, it's really literal, really the floor is lava. <laughs> Level 60 Earthshaker. Yeah. Alright, what about um, the line AoE? Double. double line AoE from 0 0.5 and Oppressor. The same as before, they just dodge those. I think the same as before, I don't remember dealing with them uh, in a special way. But when the when oppressor point five comes out, um, uh, that was Ravi said. Uh, we did it in, in an inefficient way, but I think Ravi's group did it as the OT provokes oppressor off of the MT, and the MT who has hate on oppressor uh, zero point five can now take him and drag him across the room. Oh, he doesn't even have to drag him across, he just needs to run to the other side. He'll go straight to Right, him. right, because you already have hate. I think the yep. way that um, Banator was trying to do it was well, we had the uh, Octane provoke off, but it, it was just too much error. 
Both so of those work, it's just again. a matter of how competent your off tank is. Okay, it's so... Just putting the moment of truth on either end. So it's whatever you guys are more comfortable with. Josh. Well, with, the, with the MT taking it, um, like there's not much timing that he has to worry about. So I'm taking the... You're, uh, you're taking... The, you're taking a presser. I'm right taking now, a presser. But then when he casts... When he do all the sirens and bells and whistles start going on, yeah. I'm going to provoke a compressor off you. You're going to run to A. Okay. And then an ad's going to come out of that pool. So and, and I'm going to grab there. that one. Okay. And you're going to place him exactly how a presser is now, but flip him toward A. Right. Oh, um, one thing I've heard that, like, I'm not sure what the pros and cons are um, of tanking a presser where he is right now versus tanking a presser, like, dragging him all the way to where Josh was standing. Oh, so. So if you tank a presser, so they're never close now, to each other. Right, they will be tethered. Yeah, and you he comes need out to outside. move the uh, the other one across immediately when the thing starts. Right. So it's I just it's... a matter of timing of move at the beginning when nothing's happening, or in the middle of the fight when there's AOE's going off. Cleve's gonna hit the party, that sort of thing. Yeah, I think yeah. it's better to start it looks a like, presser here. It looks like the trade-off yeah. is we lose DPS um, in the opening like three seconds. You don't versus even know. safety. Uh, I don't really? think you'll lose much. Like you maybe lose. You lose at least a CD. <laughs> no, you lose at least a 